Um, excuse my voice, I've been a bit crook for the last couple of weeks, but I've managed to get out and fly nearly every day over the past week because we've had some absolutely great weather here in North Queensland. I don't know whether you know about North Queensland here in Australia recently, but it seems that we've had a, a wet season during our dry season, so it's been an absolute terrible, terrible season to do any flying. Um, so, what I've got in my hand is the 210 that I built. A lot of stories behind this now. Um, I've had two weeks of flying it around, um, a week really intensively of flying it around, and I've made a couple of huge changes to the setup of how I first started. So I think we'll get down to that and I'll show you close and personal the little things that didn't work out whatsoever as far as I'm concerned and what blew my mind away with the changes that are now involved with the F3 boards and now I'm reading as F4 boards coming out. So let's get down to the bench, I'll throw them on the bench and I'll tell you what I've discovered over the last month because a few of the videos I've done I'm going to have to go back and edit them, put a little bit at the end of them saying thumbs down to certain products. Okay, let's see what they are. Okay, so this is what I had chosen for the 210 build and I spoke in length and detail about the um, PDB plus OSD that was purchased for the build. Okay, so it's got a back on it, it's a PDB and it was an OSD. And sitting on the bench without flying around it did its job. I got it all set up well. Um, I used the old multi-Wii software to flash to the chip and we ran Mino SD and I set it up the way I wanted it. It all worked easy, what I was used to, and it was all on the one chip. Bonus. Okay, so I introduced, which was the first big mistake I believe, was to purchase of a F1 Naze 32 clone rip-off job, okay? So I bought this from Banggood, I think it cost about 16 bucks. Um, so yes, it's probably a hit and miss, and I think I got a bit of a miss with it. Uh, it just didn't want to fly smooth at all with clean flight. It Compared to the Flip 32s and stuff that I've been running, it was just a nightmare. I eventually got it to fly around fairly smooth, okay? So, that we'll just put that aside. The main issue, the main issue was noise on video. Of course, when you're playing around on the bench and you're setting it all up, well, you're not spinning your motors up and your props up and you're not under load and you've just made sure it's all working and Bob's your uncle, you're going to go take it for a test flight. Okay, so first test flight I had, FPV, because I'd already ironed the bugs out in the backyard um, with the naze. The first flight FPV, shocking. Just shocking. The noise and stuff over, I thought, my God, what's wrong with my antennas? Is there something going on? And I played with antennas and I played with different things. And I just went, nah, nah, it's got to be noise. It's introduced noise out of the system into the video. It was just really horrid. So... That coupled with the disappointment of the Naze 32, with the disappointment of having to unplug the um, Naze 32 from the OSD because it only has one interrupt that it uses between the two. That was painful. So I just bit the bullet and went, no, nah, it all comes out. So I pulled it all out and... I may have to recut for this, but let's just lift this fractionally and I'll point this in here. And as you can see, I've laid in a MarTech board because 
You can see the XT60 is soldered to that. It is the, the Maytech. And I have put in there, once again, from Banggood, I'm a sucker for punishment, from Banggood, a F3 flight controller SP copy. All right, is in there. And it all went in quite good. Easy build. Threw it back in, unsoldered the ESC, soldered them onto the new board, took it outside, and clean flight installed. It flew wonderful. Just wonderful. Fantastic. It just straight out of the box. I'm talking that I'm you know I'm in angle, I'm I'm sitting there in stabilized mode and it just took off and sat there dead still. Oh. So yeah, it's just a, um, a wife interruption there. So pull back up to here. So in conclusion, I took the uh, I took the Naze 32 out and I put in an SP F3 clone and it flew absolutely fantastic on a clean flight. So the next thing I did was oh, there goes the voice card. Next thing I did was I brought it inside and I. I bit the bullet and I went, okay, I've been watching good old Joshua Bardell and he's been an advocate of the, the Beta Flight 3. And I went, okay, I've got an F3 board. Let's put Beta Flight on it. And wow, yeah. Um, if you haven't tried Beta Flight, put Beta Flight on. I flew the next four or five days with the Beta Flight on it and my flying has improved dramatically. I have so much more confidence. I'm almost at the stage now where I can start setting up some FPV gates of some description and giving it a shot of flying around the park through the FPV gates at some a decent speed um, before I start going through trees and smashing shit out of everything. We'll do a few more vids on some more technical stuff soon, but I just thought I'd update what I've been doing the last couple of weeks, and that is throwing away F1 boards, throwing away all in one OSDs with a, P with a PDB because the one I had just didn't function like it was supposed to. And honestly, been having a great week flying. So, catch us around.